Thank you for joining us for today's Gospel Reflection from the Book of Common Prayer Lectionary. My name is Father Tom Papazoglakis, and I serve as rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Thursday in the third week after the Epiphany. Let us pray. Give us grace, O Lord, to answer readily the call of our Savior Jesus Christ and proclaim to all people the good news of his salvation, that we and the whole world may perceive the glory of his marvelous works, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our lesson comes from the Gospel of Mark, the sixth chapter, beginning at the 30th verse. The apostles gathered around Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a deserted place by themselves. Now many saw them going and recognized them, and they hurried there on foot from all the towns and arrived ahead of them. As he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. When it grew late, his disciples came to him and said, This is a deserted place, and the hour is now very late. Send them away so that they may go into the surrounding country and villages and buy something for themselves to eat. But he answered them, You give them something to eat. And they said to him, Are we to go and buy two hundred denarii worth of bread and give it to them to eat? And he said to them, How many loaves have you? Go and see. When they found out, they said, Five and two fish. Then he ordered them to get all the people to sit down in groups on the green grass. So they sat down in groups of hundreds and of fifties. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to his disciples to set before the people, and he divided the two fish among them all, and all ate and were filled. And they took up twelve baskets full of broken pieces and of the fish. Those who had eaten the loaves numbered five thousand men. Immediately he made his disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side to Bethsaida, while he dismissed the crowd. After saying farewell to them, he went up on the mountain to pray. Here ends the lesson. Give them something to eat yourselves. Now, I don't know about you, but I know there are many days when Mother Elizabeth and I feel like we are meeting ourselves coming and going, and every now and then something comes up where it just seems like the right thing to do to invite someone to eat or have a meal that we have not prepared for or anticipated. Sometimes the best we can do is call Panera, or on occasion we might have just made a large enough pot of gumbo, spaghetti, or some other shareable meal that we can serve on short notice. In today's Gospel reading, there is no such option. Jesus was not talking about just a few people. He was talking about 5,000 men which may have equated to over 10,000 men, women, and children. There was no catering service. They could not text an order, much less find anyone capable of preparing and delivering such an order on such short notice. There were not even vendor trucks close by that someone could have picked up a hot dog or snack at. This was a big deal. Aside from the resurrection, the story of Jesus feeding the 5,000 is the only miracle recorded in all four Gospels. And we can take that to understand it to mean that the Gospel writers considered this a significant miracle. When Christ fed the crowd that day, he began with only five loaves of bread and two fish. To feed 5,000 to 10,000 people with five loaves and two fish is indeed a miracle. And the disciples wanted to send the people away as they were in a remote place and wanted to give the people time to reach surrounding villages so they could find food and a place to stay. 
but Jesus showed them a better way, the way of faith. Yes, he met their physical needs. However, more importantly, he met their spiritual needs as he showed them what it means when we say, don't tell God how big your problem is, but rather tell your problem how big your God is. Let us pray. O Heavenly Father, who has filled the world with beauty, open our eyes to behold your gracious hand in all your works, that rejoicing in your whole creation, we may learn to serve you with gladness for the sake of him through whom all things were made, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us for today's Gospel Reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, please join us for our worship at 4.30 on Saturday afternoons or at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings. I invite you to check out our website for all our virtual and in-person offerings. You can watch our 9 a.m. Sunday service uh, virtually online as well.